hello guys very welcome back so this is the syllabus which I am going to start and listen this syllabus every day as if you are praying just before the food listen this syllabus before sleeping listen this syllabus after waking up listen this syllabus okay in a walk listen this syllabus while going through bus and metro listen this recording okay so let's start gs paper 1 indian heritage and culture history and geography of world and society Indian culture will cover all the salient aspect of art forms, literature and architecture from ancient to modern times. Second, modern Indian history from about the middle of the 18th century until the present. Significant events, personalities, issues. Third, the freedom struggle, its various stages and important contributors, contributions from different parts of the country. Fourth, post independence consolidation and reorganization within the country fifth history of the world will include events from the 18th century such as the industrial revolution world wars the redrawal of national boundaries colonization decolonization political philosophies like communism capitalism socialism etc their forms and effect on the society sixth salient features of indian society diversity of india Seventh, role of women, women's organization, population and associated issues, poverty and developmental issues, urbanization, their problems and their remedies. Eighth, effect of globalization of Indian society. Ninth, social empowerment, communalism, regionalism and secularism. Tenth, salient features of the world physical geography. Eleventh, distribution of the key natural resources across the world including South Asia and Indian subcontinent, factors responsible for location of primary, secondary and tertiary sector industries in various parts of the world, including India. Twelfth, important geophysical phenomena such as the earthquake, tsunami, volcanic activities, cyclone, etc. Geographical features and their location, changes in critical geographical features, including water bodies and ice caps, and in flora, fauna and the effects of such changes. In GS paper 3, we have general studies to governance, constitution, polity, social justice and international relations. Indian constitution, historical underpinnings, evolution, features, amendments, significant provisions and basic features. governance, constitution, polity, social justice and international relation. Second, function and responsibility of the union and the states, issues and challenges pertaining to federal structure, devolution of powers and finances up to the local levels and challenges therein, separation of powers between the various organs, dispute, redressal mechanism and institution, comparison of the Indian constitutional scheme with that of the other countries, parliamentary, and the state for parliamentary and state legislature structure functioning conduct of business power and privileges and issue arising out of these fifth structure organization and functioning of executive and the judiciary ministries and department of the government pressure groups etc salient features of the representation of the people's act appointment to the various constitutional posts power function and responsibility of various constitutional bodies statutory, regulatory and various quasi-judicial bodies, government policies and interventions for development in various sectors and issues arising out of their design and implementation, development process and development, industry, the role of NGOs, SGs, various groups, as associations, donors, charities, institutions and other stakeholders, welfare schemes for vulnerable sections, of the population by the center and the state and the performance of these schemes, mechanisms, laws, institutions 
and body is constituted for the protection and betterment of these valuable section issues relating to development and management of social sector public services relating to health education and human resources issues relating to poverty and hunger important aspects of governance transparency and accountability e governance application models successes limitations and potential citizen charters transparency and accountability and institution and under measures rule of civil services in democracy indian and its neighborhood relations bilateral regional and global groupings and agreements involving india and or affecting india's interest effect of policies and politics of developed and developing countries on india's interest indian diaspora important international issues gs paper 4 general studies 3 technology economic development biodiversity environment security and disaster management indian economy and issues relating to the planning mobilization of resources growth and development of and employment inclusive growth and issues arising from it government budgeting major crops cropping pattern in various parts of the country different types of irrigation and irrigation systems storage transport and marketing and of agricultural produce and issues related constraints e technology in the aid of the farmers issues related to the direct and indirect farm subsidies and minimum support prices pds objectives functioning limitation revamping issues of buffer stocks and food security technology missions economies of animal rearing food processing and related industries in india scope and significance location upstream and downstream requirement and supply chain management land reforms in india effect of liberalization in the economy changes in the industrial policy and their effects on the industrial growth infrastructure energy ports roads airports railways etc investment models science and technology development and their application and effect in their everyday life achievements of india in the science and technology in digitalization of technology and developing new technology awareness in the field of it space computers robotics nanotechnology biotechnology and issues relating to intellectual property rights conservation environmental pollution and degradation environmental impact assessment disaster and disaster management linkages between the development and spread of extremism role of external state and non state actors in creating challenges to internal security challenges to internal security through communication networks role of media and social networking sites and in internal security challenges basics of cyber security money laundering and its prevention security challenges and their management in border areas linkages organized crimes with terrorism various security forces and agencies and their mandate this paper for i general studies paper for ethics integrity and aptitude this paper will include questions to test the candidates attitude and approach to the issues relating to integrity probability in public life and his problem solving approach to the various issues and conflicts faced by him in dealing with the society questions may arise utilize the case study approach to determine these aspects the following broad areas will be covered ethics and human interface essence and determinants and consequence of ethics in human action dimension of ethics and ethics in private and public relationship human values lessons from the life and teaching of the great leaders reformers and administrators role of family and society and educational institution in inculcating values attitude content structure function its influence and relations with the thought and behavior moral and political attitudes social influence and persuasion aptitude and foundational values for civil services integrity impartiality and non-partisanship objectivity dedication to the public service empathy tolerance and compassion towards the weaker section emotional intelligence and concepts and their utilities and application in administration and governance 
contribution of the moral thinkers and philosophers from India and the world, public civil service values and ethics in the public administration, so status and problems, ethical concerns, laws, rules and regulation consigns as a source of ethical guidance, accountability and ethical governance, strengthening of ethical and moral values in governance, ethical issues in international relations and funding, corporate governance, property in governance, concept of public services, philosophical basis of governance and property, information sharing and transparency in government, right to information, code of ethics, code of conduct, citizens charter, work culture, quality of service, delivery, utilization of work, funds, challenges and corruption.